uh, Washington DC last year, uh, we have a global forum. They call it the Global Health Security Forum. Mm -hmm. MDRTB is uh, one item in the uh, global health security. That is, uh, is a good um, advocacy because uh, it's a really um, hot topic. I mean that it, uh, if we do not have action now, it's too late. Right. And at the moment, we uh, have um, so many tools and uh, um, idea, let's say the approaches to address the MDR TB uh, in particular and the TB control as a whole uh, in general. In Vietnam, uh, we set up the um, MDR TB control like the priority component among the TB control uh, as a whole. We not forget the regular uh, TB control because uh, it now occupy more than 95% people. Uh, I mean the patient, TB patient, is still susceptible to uh, TB. And still, yeah, still uh, have, a, have a very effective regimen is uh, the first light drug at the moment. So we try to control it with uh, early detection at much, at many, at possible. So we can stop infectious sources. It is a reduced incident of TB. This is one way to prevent MDR TB. But second thing, if we detect and provide the right regimen, I mean the effective regimen, so that is uh, also prevents MDR TB. We need to provide enough adequate counseling for the patient so patient can adhere to the regimen and be cured. This is uh, also important to impact to prevention of the MDR TB. Uh, MDR TB itself component is the treating. So the third thing is prevention, I already uh, tell you. Yeah. But the two other things are very important. That's the detection and the treatment. It is quite difficult uh, compared to regular uh, TB. Number one is the detection. We identify first the who is suspect for MDR TB. So two category. Number one is the treated cases. Is previously they already have a diagnosed, uh, but uh, now is a, a relapse or the failure of the uh, previous uh, treatment. So we can detect this patient because of suspect MDRTB. And the second is uh, even the newly detected TB cases could be MDRTB but the proportion is low. In Vietnam, it's 4% of the newly detected cases could be the MDRTB. But the previous the treated cases is the 23%. That is, that is the figure. So after detection of the MDRTB, we need to provide the adequate regimen for the MDRTB. So Vietnam, we very fortunate now we enough to number one we provide the 20 months uh, classical MDRTB regimen recommended by WHO it's uh, like a routine the second we provide uh, this patient just pilot a beginning it's a uh, start in next month on let's say the September early September this year yeah, that is uh, from tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, with the nine month regimen. Okay, nine yeah. month regimen. Nine month regimen for MDR. Okay. So the first cohort, we intend to provide the 100%, uh, 100 uh, patient MDR. And this is uh, approved by WHO? Mm, already approved. Okay. Everything is ready. Okay. Now so we provide the training and uh, the drug is already arrived country. And we already have some patients stand by and enroll. We have a checklist and uh, PV. That means the uh, pharmacovigilance system. It's working. 
and for the Istria TV, it is important because uh, globally we have a 48 percent successful treatment MDN TV. Vietnam is uh, the among the five countries in the, in the world achieve more than 70 percent. But even 70 percent, we have uh, less about the 20 because of some uh, uh, mortality. Uh, so 20 percent not yet are successful. How to deal with these patients? So that is might be HDRTB, might be uh, MDRTB, but intolerant with the uh, current regimen, and uh, might be pre-HDR, quinolone resistant or the injectable secondary drug resistant. So we provide the individual uh, regimen based on the DST, drug susceptible testing. Uh, but now we have new tool. We apply the beta quilin based regimen. This the new drug. Beta quilin. Beta So you do DST right at the at the point one when the patient comes to the system. Yes. Yeah. 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 If on the four category, number one HDR, number two pre HDR, number three MDR but intolerance or it uh, many signal drug are resistant yeah so that is uh, we will test with the DST and provide a new regimen and also this uh, apply in the next month in the September early everything ready okay training and we also intend to treat the 100 case in the first cohort that is uh, for MDRTB. We make uh, lots of progress. <coughs> in terms of the number, last year we enrolled uh, 1,503 uh, patients. Uh, and this year we intend to achieve uh, 2,200. So the scan up is quite uh, quick, quite fast in Vietnam. We have supported from the government fund. Uh, it's a funding, but we very important is human resource and the system. It's a, we have commitment. It's a very high commitment from the people and high commitment from the um, government. Uh, last year we have um, uh, government approved the national strategy for TB control up to 2020 with vision 2030. That is uh, very important, along with the uh, ending TB strategy globally. That is uh, very important for Vietnam. I think it uh, could be successful. Compared to the other country, I think Vietnam is the first country in our region to apply the new uh, approach for the diagnosis of TB. We just apply this evidence-based, scientific evidence-based uh, for the diagnosis TB in children in the programmatic setting. That's based on the three factors. Number one is the history on contact within the one year. The second is the uh, abnormality in the chest X-ray, consistent with the TB. And number three is a symptom, a clinical symptom, yeah. consistent with TB. Childhood TB. So, based on the three factor, if um, the children have two, two among three, yeah, we can diagnose TB and provide the treatment. So it is uh, increase the number of TB diagnoses. Majority is the primary. Uh, Tuberculosis, yeah. Primary tuberculosis is uh, uh, normally is uh, ignored uh, in, the, in the setting, but uh, potentially develops a TB in adult. That is uh, the one thing we we have a hypothesis. Uh, but uh, it is a um, challenge because uh, chest X-ray uh, reading in children, especially in, uh, in children, quite difficult. 
So it should not make some much progress in that. We now address this issue by two things. Number one is the training people how to take the picture, how to take the jet history for children and for adults uh, with the standardization, number one. Number two is the reading skill is very important. We also develop the material and provide the training for the people the reading in the church tree. So hopefully it can make impact in practice. You change the practice and increase the competition in TV channel as well. Our conference in Da Nang uh, one week ago. The national conference. Yeah, national scientific conference on lung health. We have a pre-conference training course on the chat history reading. First, uh, we have only 30 people registered. Later, the 48 people yeah, on spot. So I think the people interested in And I think it can make a, a good movement for this, um, this uh, issue. Number one is the uh, commitment from the leader is very important. If you want to do, you always think how to do better. Today is best, but tomorrow is better. That is very important. And uh, technically, uh, we have guideline. We have a SOP, very concrete, very simple, but people easy to understand, people easy to follow. Uh, patient uh, could be counseling in any step even very low step uh, lower level like a district mm. people if the suspect they have counseling you could be so you can I can send you to this center to diagnose it mm. diagnose it if it's uh, positive they can send back the result mm. and patient uh, can have counseling again that is uh, really it's a tool, so you should have uh, treatment. But treatment is a, a challenge. It's not like uh, previously you treated. Now it takes longer and so many drugs. It could make a side effect. It make you uncomfortable, but you need it because uh, it can be killed. Don't worry, that is a counseling. And people must decide the consensus. Yeah. That is, uh, uh, most of pe people can engage right. even 20 months. Yes. Yeah. So patient understand, mm -hmm. the daughter uh, supporter understand yes. how it works. Yes. And if happen in advance, they know in advance if happen, so it's not surprise and not escape. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, is also important. The third thing is a patient support program is very important. They come here, but uh, we do not uh, not yet address this uh, perfectly like uh, social protection. But we have some support, the patient support, like uh, transportation, everything is free of charge. And even the, we try to encourage uh, doctor, nurses, uh, keep smile with the patient, encourage them. We try to get um, volunteer to support. We can um, we uh, we encourage a patient already treated, already cured by MDTB, involved in this program. They can have other people. They can share the experience. So I think that is good good way to do. Of course, uh, we use a standardized regimen. Yes. We procure a quality drug. The um, distribution and also the, the system is improved. Yeah. That is also important. But most important, the interaction with the patient and doctor. Right. That is, uh, I think it's, uh, yeah. it's enough for, yeah. for success yeah. so far. Yeah. <laughs>